Good morning, hot dogs. I'm your host, Dalo, and unfortunately, Lucy's not here uh, here today again. Thanks for tuning in to September 18th for your hot dog announcements, Girl Scout, election, NHS, and more. Now, on to the pledge. Please stand. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I know by now y'all must be really tired of hearing me talk about the election, and I mean really tired. But once again, it's extremely important. The 2020 election is just around the corner. Students that will be 18 by November 3rd can register to vote online. You just need a, Indiana, you just need a valid Indiana license or ID. Register now by visiting indianavoters.in.org. Click register to vote and complete the short application. The deadline to register is October 5th. I highly recommend that you register. Attention, NHS, senior leadership voting is open until midnight tonight. Select three candidates. Now, on to sports with Elijah. Hi, I'm Elijah. The boys tennis team fell to Rossville 4-1 last night. Chase Thomas received his third win in a row this week and earned the dogs their point at two singles. Nice job, Chase. Last night, the ladies soccer team snapped streak against the Chargers. The girls came out firing on a cool night and managed to get an early goal from junior Mia Hernandez. Later in the game, senior Jesse Ramos managed to corral a ball off a deflected shot and hammer it into the back of the net to give the Hot Dogs a 2-0 lead. The goal was the first of her career. The late Hot Dogs played good defense in the half end up with the late Hot Dogs up 2-0. However, midway through the half, the Chargers managed to find the back of the net, cutting the hot dog lead down to one. Liz Sandoval scored about 24 yards out on a strong shot from the right side, giving the lay hot dogs a 3-1 lead. Mia Hernandez managed to ice the game away with about two minutes left in regulation with their second goal of the night, giving the lay hot dogs a decisive 4-1 win. The win snaps the lead hot dogs two-game losing streak improves the record to 7-4 overall and 3-0 on Sagamore Conference action. The JV earned a 0-0 tie against Chargers JV team. Football fans, South Central have set up portable bleachers set up on the west side of our field. Our fans are more than welcome and even encouraged to bring lawn chairs if you wish. So you can sit on track, please plant accordingly. Also, shout out to the girls soccer team for getting the dub last night and ending this losing streak. I'm just happy I won the bet. I don't have to make a TikTok because I cannot stand TikToks and I didn't want to do it anyway. Good luck to all teams in action tonight and this weekend. That's it for sports. Now back to Ayla. Thanks, Elijah. For lunch today is cheeseburgers and chef salad and Rice Krispie Cheese are still here. Happy birthday goes out to Jeremy Aaron, Giovanni Cruz Ro Rojas, and Samuel McGowan. For yesterday's trivia, many answered Coach Everett Case, which is the right answer. We made a mistake thinking it was Phil Buck. But on further review, Case was the answer. And Miss Russian got it right, got the point for being the first answer. For today's question is, what, what is the name of the previous head Frankfurt football coach that started his career, his head, his head coaching career right here at Frankfurt? He has, he has since won multiple high school state titles and is now a D1 assistant coach. If you're interested in joining Girl Scouts, you still have time to join. There will be a call out at TPA Saturday, September 26, located at Shelter 5. If you have any questions, contact Troop Leader Cassidy Tyken at 765-242-6036. That's it for today, hot dogs. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I'll see you on Monday.